How to make steampunk jewelry. Steampunk jewelry is cogs, gears and antique watch parts the style commonly starts out with a Victorian or Edwardian influence. Steampunk jewelry is different in the majority, is handmade which make back quote s it's so intimate to the maker out of the time the jewelry is unique and there is no two same pieces in the world. Imagine a world, where conventional technology and equipment is not available you need to make things yourself with what you can get your hand on. Once you have Bizelle's blanks, or also known in search as round cabbage and pendant base followed with the size back quote the most common sizes are 10mm, 25mm round, match them with the watch movement size that come in the following sizes. 16mm 18mm 20mm 24mm 25mm Pocket watch movements are the biggest and range in size from 25.40mm, 48.26mm DIY handmade steampunk jewelry step 1. Take your watch movement, if the clock face plate is attached still using the pliers take of the clock face, by pulling bending the edge, so the pliers can grasp the face, and then completely pull it off. Step 2, then you will need to take of any screws or spikes, that could cut or pierce someone's hand. Take these off, so the movement is smooth and ready to push into the bezel and set into place anything sticking out use the pliers to bend, and twist off. Step 3, now take the bezel add a small amount of epoxy glue, after it is mixed as shown in the video above using gloves then push the watch movement minus any sticky outer bits into the bezel apply pressure till set with pliers. Leave to set for 15 minutes. Step 4, once the watch movement is set in the bezel you can use the jump ring to attach it to the blank chain the pliers will come in handy here again to bend the jump ring out of it back quote s circular form at the crack, it can then be pushed into the chain link and bent to close it. Step 5, clean the finished bezel and movement, dispose of the glove safely step 6, finish the jewelry of by placing it in a steampunk jewelry box you can get plain boxes, but an itch themed box will impress far more. My personal favorite are treasure chest jewelry boxes shown. Find your own on eBay to buy in bulk or red sea always place the jewelry in a organza bag if possible. Conclusion. Once you have made your first piece of jewelry, and see how easy it is a world is your oyster look for inspiration on eBay, Etsy, Pinterest and Instagram. Make whatever you like, go online look for websites making movement jewelry there is avid out there. The best place to find your first blanks or findings is Etsy once you have worked out how to make the jewelry you can buy bulk amounts from Aliexpress this is a site most Etsy sellers buy their blanks at a expert level. As you become more expert you will be able to add more charms talking to the relevant fan specific interests. Step 1. You need to acquire watches that operate by winding them up, not by batteries. Like they say one man's rubbish is another man's treasure. Upsickle those left over from other projects, and go to a flea market, auctions, ebay, antique shop back quote s, and look for rolled watches, and take them apart for their bids, just open them up. Step 2, find yourself the right mold whichever takes your fancy shape wise, square, round, star and many other shapes found on ebay, amazon. Etsy just search for as in mold. Step 3, make a visual note of how much you need, if you have a shape difficult to measure you can pour the resin in first and pour it out again, if you have a shape easy, to measure take the measurements, and apply to the resin. The math is straightforward. A cubic centimeter is equal to a milliliter, so the entire mold holds a little more than 15 milliliters. Step 4, you now need to add the resin to the mold, and add the watch parts mix a batch of clear resin ready for the mold, and add the watch parts into the mold, how you would like them to set. Quickly add the watch parts dipping it in resin first to avoid trapping bubbles underneath. 
Now pour in the resin quickly, before it sets. After mixing point T is a bit more work, but you can have several layers of resin adding the watch parts as you go to give a more 3D feel rather than just one layer. Step 5. Allow to fully cure before demolding. Step 6. Once again add the finished jewelry into a steampunk jewelry box, and it is ready. Second hand watch parts. Pick. It is so satisfying to recycle something and this is so relevant to the steampunk universe where you are surviving from what you can rustle up from the deserts, leftover cities, traveling market traders and fellow survivors. One of my favorites is a necklace made of watch parts shown below. Step 1. Take a chain necklace blank. Step 2. And some jump rings. Step 3. Find watch parts you have saved, or bought choose those with holes adequate to attach to the necklace chain with a jump ring. Mechanical watch parts. Step 4. Using the pliers bend the jump rings slightly, so you can slide them on the blank at the same time attaching the watch part you want to use. Step 5. Lastly add in some steampunk charms using the jump rings, octopus, skulls, all relevant motifs given below. Handmade steampunk jewelry ideas. Some other simple jewelry you can make back quote no glue back quote with your leftover watch parts below. Vial of watch parts necklace. Cufflinks watch parts with window. Steampunk watch parts bracelet. Locomotive. Skull and crossbones. Keys. Dragons. Insects. Cogs gears. Clocks. Propellers. Victorian cameo. Air balloon ship. Airships are popular forms of transport in steampunk stories. One of the main types of airship is known as non-rigid, but such airships are commonly called blimps. Nautical anchor. Octopus. It tells the story of Captain Nemo and his advanced submarine, the Nautilus. During its journey, the Nautilus encountered several giant octopuses that Captain Nemo and his crew fought. Steampunk's fascination with octopuses probably originated from there. Robot. Ow. 